Hey guys, introducing Yinchen J. How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm great. Yeah, yeah I'm Yinchen well. J. And, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, a concept artist and illustrator, and uh, I'm based in China. So, All right. uh, yeah, it's so great to uh, have the opportunity to, to talk something uh, with uh, uh, Mike. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So great. It's, yeah. It's, I remember seeing there was one image. If you share, you're able to share your screen. Is, um, I'll share my screen. Well, okay. Yeah, I can. Uh, um, I, can, I can go unless you share your screen. Go through your art station. There was one. Um, if you go on your art station, I remember seeing one image of yours that was um, was like a hallway scene. I really liked it. It's like um, uh, what is it? I can't remember the name of it. But if you show me, I'll I'll uh, remember it. I think that's the one. No, no, it's not, not that one. You're on someone else's thing at the moment. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Yep. I think so if we, you go down, go down, down. So still lower. Yeah. It's kind of old work. Is this one? Um, low, low. It's just lagging. It's just weird because I'm. Oh. I think it. I think the video lag is off. The, um, sync with the, the voice so i think if you uh -huh. go if i even if i say if you go lower i think uh -huh. you end up missing it because yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. just go through it <laughs> this is this is awkward yeah uh, in my side is already in the bottom <laughs> yeah yeah all right um yeah because if i share my screen with you it will bugger up too all right okay we'll have to um just go through go i don't know it's, i can't explain it there's it was like a hallway scene it has like um like a drone in it with that one there on there you go like the the drone and right. they're going through the right. door oh sure. yeah that one i remember i remember seeing that one posted and i found it um i think it was on uh you know just one of those random Im image websites i thought it was really cool just how you um just you brought it all together it was really cool to see how you brought it together and things like that mm -hmm. what's um kind of like how did you get your start doing all these uh, types of things? Because you got you got some pretty fresh ideas. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like you're. Um, I know you're using uh, photo photo manipulation, but you're doing a really good job of it. I really mm -hmm. like how you like you're doing it because mm -hmm. like a really fresh take on it. And there's a lot of um, it, it kind of feels like like that Ghost in the Shell mixture yeah. of of art. I'm not sure if you've been influenced by that before or mm -hmm. or you were influenced by that. I think everyone was. Mm -hmm. uh, Were you influenced by that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. influenced by what? A ghost in ghost, the show? Yeah, ghost in the show. Yeah, yeah. Ghost in the show have influenced me a lot. I think when I was yeah, uh, first time when I was watching that uh, animation is is around around just around around seven years old. Yeah, and, I, and yeah, and that is that is so. And I and I, I actually my family is my parents have bought a. Japanese version of that, so I don't understand any anything they are they're talked in that animation. Yeah, there is no subtitles. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of kind of kind of just a just just a kid, so I don't understand even have subtitles. I don't I don't understand that. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm just watching all the all the all the pictures in that in that animation. It just feels that it's so great. Mm. And uh, yeah, but uh, but uh, after a while, I'm, I'm I'm just not really. Um, considering myself, of, uh, I will be a concert artist in the future when I was younger. Oh, and yeah, okay, I yeah. kind of forgot that kind of things. And but uh, when I was starting to uh, get into this field, I think that is the thing that I love the most. I, I just love mm. the uh, how how human body com uh, com combined with the machines and that they mm. just just augmented the, the human being and they they kind of uh, mix it together. That is, yeah, I, I, yeah, and I love so many guns, and uh, so yeah, I, I have played a lot, uh, just uh, Counter Strike, so I mm. really, really love guns. So, um, so when I was doing this, I'm just thinking about to do something that, um, um, uh, just have a have a that kind of feeling of uh, a a a bunch of uh, special force, and they they were doing some um missions and uh, they are using some high technology to uh, get through a door and uh, they, they, they they trying to um, the bust the, the um, criminals inside that door yeah, yeah kind of like that no 
yeah, I'm, I'm usually cool. well, uh, sketch first. Yeah, yeah. Most of my stuff is just uh, have a sketch first. So that's that's really cool how you do that. It's like um, you've you're really developing that pre that pre sketch before you're even committing yeah, to anything. Yeah. yeah. So I really like that. How long do you spend on say an image like that? I mean, this one maybe a few days I think. Kind of mm. forgot this. It's uh two years ago already. Gosh. Yeah. And I, and I think maybe around uh four days, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, but uh, to be honest, for a kind of a work that it is, yeah, maybe I can do this faster. Mm. I, would, I would do this kind of things uh, a lot of times. But uh, yeah, yeah, when I was doing this, I'm still trying to figure out some um, uh, techniques that I haven't used before. So uh, yeah. I spend a little bit more than nowadays. So yeah. I think, look, I think. I don't think people should be guilty for taking a bit longer with work, especially if it, if it's going to last a bit longer. I think when yeah, um, people, people all, I think everyone feels like we're in a such a, um, like you've got to do this in a day or two. Like you really got to nail down this yeah. speed of work. I think, yeah. look, unless you're got a deadline and someone's like got a gun to the back of your head and you need to finish something. I think yeah. your personal work, you really need to just, you can, you can pace yourself. Otherwise you, you're going to be like this kind of, yeah you so that's true you, know, you can yeah. yeah but i'm sometimes just uh i don't know just when i was doing work i'm just always wanted to finish that as fast as possible i don't know <laughs> this is I'm, I'm always just I, oh i want to finish this faster you want to I move can, on but, uh, yeah move on to the to next one yeah. or i can do some more practice and stuff like that so i can just yeah just i think um you do you, do you have a, like a long you probably have a short attention span for maybe one piece of work perhaps is that um something you think like your attention span is like a lot lower for doing you know like you gotta kind of like pump them out because you just can't focus on the one thing for too long um uh, you mean spin a few few weeks like, to work on a to, to work on a piece of stuff yeah, like you you can't focus for too long on one thing. Like you're, I think, um, I, think I, I can, but uh, I, I'm just, you know, when I was back in the school, it just, uh, you know, they were, I don't know, uh, they were doing that at uh, Australia or not, but in China, this, the, 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 the um, art education system is like they will give you two weeks to draw, okay, to draw something, to draw a sketch, a black and mm. white sketch for two weeks. And then just standing, yeah. sitting out there and draw that picture. Yeah, maybe it's a model, maybe it's a, a, a it's a sculpture, and you're gonna have to draw that for two weeks. And then you're just looking that every day, and it's just yeah. it's a simple, simple, simple model that there. And I'm gonna draw that yeah. for two weeks. Yeah, but uh, I think that nowadays I'm just prefer to finish that fast. It's, it's yeah. not because yeah. it's not because I can't focusing at a single piece for a very long time. It's just because I want to. Uh, just I want to move on. I want to uh, mm. kind of able to do more. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, yeah I get yeah, you. Yeah. Just uh, you wanted yeah. to you wanted to get more content out there. Yeah. Yeah. Just if you can uh, show me, um, <clears throat> do you have any like Photoshop uh, breakdowns for anything or like layers or just to see you know just some of your like um, ha, you, know, you how, want how, the kind how, of stuff? How, yeah. Okay. But. Uh, yeah, well, well, but, just the uh, just the behind look. It's cool to see behind the scenes. I don't I don't know if it's not me if it's messy. It doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter, right? It's the end piece. That's um, uh, that's how you got there into the end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see if I have uh, some picture that I can show you. Um, let me see. Or if you're working on anything currently or anything that's kind of like. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't shown anyone about this before, man. And uh, all right, hey, yeah, I think, I think, I think I have some, I have some, uh, have some uh, kind of a special technique for sure, just because. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just my process is like just photo batching first, and uh, and the, all all that stuff kind of looks flat, you know. When you photo bash, yeah, yeah and then I I will, I will draw a, a shading on top of all that stuff yeah to to bring it all together yeah 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 just it's not just if i don't do that it's kind of like just uh uh just you can't really figure out the shape and uh mm. so yeah let me show you this one 
Well, that's why I thought you had a really cool style because I think a lot of people actually don't, uh, when they photo bash things, they kind of like, they don't bring things together. Yeah, but I think they... some, some artists they just use some uh, picture that already exists and they just uh, throw some other photos into that picture and they draw mm. on, top, on top of that. And so yeah. the, see, all the see lighting this, is already out there. Yeah. But, see, uh, this looks nicely blended and uh, everything, even, even if the photo source is there, but it's still, yeah. it's very much incorporated. You're, you're, blending, you're blending it more seamlessly, which is what I, what I really thought was really cool about your work. So, yeah, sure. Let me it's see like the see. mixture of painterly and if, uh, all but that. I actually, uh, yeah, let me, let me see if I can. Um, I'm kind of forgot what is the... What is the layer yeah, know, in I, this one? I know what it's like. It takes yeah. you a little bit to um yeah, to get to bit, it. It's, it's a bit of longer. <laughs> just so it, it kind of already forgot the 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 layer. That, uh, actually, it's, it's every every single picture is different. But um, mm. do you yeah. do you iterate a lot? Like in that what? way of um, do you iterate? Do you change it and keep changing it? Like until you've got it to a finish where you you know how you um so the technique you're using is it like you're um using a bit of like a clone stamp with uh, a color picker and brush and using some um shading passes and things like that uh i'm not sure i fully understand what you said so when you when you do your passes are you doing a um like a certain specific pass like a, a like a highlight pass and then shadow pass and or are you are you just building up all these different um, passes on top um, as you kind of build up the image. It's like a, um, just a more of an organic like thing. Or you uh -huh. still don't know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a bit of confused about that. Uh, uh, well, you tell, you, you tell me exactly like what you yeah, explain yeah. this then to me. Yeah. Okay. So we can yeah, okay. yeah, we'll make sense of that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. I know okay. the language barrier sucks, but um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. It's just for me. It's just like uh, there is a is a is a folder, and then here is yeah. a, is a shading, and this one is a I have a, put a, um, a light on top. Uh, let me see. Can you zoom in a little bit here? Just uh, how do you zoom press, in? Just zoom, like use the zoom, like um, like magnify. You know the magnify. Or I mean, if you, you mean the, the the Zoom software? No, no, no. The in in Photoshop, make it larger. Ah, sure, 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 sure. I got yeah. you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, so yeah. Good. Sure, sure, sure. Are you, I'm, I'm here to teach you English, also. Then. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> like, no, I'm, I just I, I don't know what you mean about the Zooming. Oh, it's fine. I thought I thought it's the the software that I we use to. No, no. Yeah, I know what you mean. It must be confusing anyway. I can't yeah, imagine. Yeah, sure. Sure. You speak actually pretty good English though. So like <laughs> me talking to you, I actually don't think you don't understand me. <laughs> so like, yeah, just, uh, yeah, I, know, I understand. I understand the word, but I understand what you mean. So okay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the context so, of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just um, okay, okay. So just um, uh, yeah. This, this is a folder, and then there's a few different layers, and then there's basically right. it's a lighting on top. Because the lighting yeah. is, is comes from the top, and the, this kind of lighting, uh, I don't really know the proper name of that. But uh, if you if you put mm. the camera uh, uh, forward, the uh, 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 the light is a uh, is a light your home or 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 the sun will have a mm. light li like this. So I put a light yeah. at here. So that kind of help a lot to make this more realistic, and yeah. uh, a layer that is. Uh, a curved layer so i can adjust the overall value of the entire picture because it, this is uh created that here is a layer and a new adjustment layer and the curves so mm. oh sorry what is this okay so you will have a layer that are uh, adjusting the entire picture uh, at once yes. It's not like you need yeah, to okay. you, you need to yeah. uh, fix all the gears. The and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One by one, yeah. you don't need to do that. So I, I mm. fix all of that at once. And uh, here is uh, a dust in the air. Is is it yeah. two layers? And then they have uh, some dust in the air. 
and I, I made this brush by myself. I just, uh, um, I got some, uh, some uh, sand uh, from the outside and I put that in the bag, okay. in the plastic bag, a plastic yeah. bag and the, that is transparent. And then so I put yeah. that into my scanner and then just scan it okay. on my computer and then just edit it a little bit and then to build this brush by, build this brush by myself. Yeah. And uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, smoke or frog right there. Yeah. And actually, I think, I think if we put all of this stuff at here, you will not realize there's uh, some uh, smoke at there. Usually, yeah, yeah, you will not realize that uh, it's at there, but it's actually kind of help a lot to mm. make this picture more realistic. Yeah. Yeah, so um, this is the, the first folder, but sometimes this changes a little bit. Um, but for this one, it's two folders, and this is the lighting of that, of that uh, small light inside uh, his body, and here, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is this folder is just uh, shedding. So if without without this one, it's kind of flat. Yeah. Yeah. So so I can, you know, I know some some artists that did uh, tended to uh, draw all the shedding when they are doing the photo bashing, but. Uh, I think that sometimes we'll destroy all the details in that photo. So I'm just okay. prepared to, uh, yeah, just build all that stuff at once and then just uh, mm. uh, draw another shading. So the shading separate, you know, yeah, in a separate yeah, layer, yeah, like a multiplier. Yeah, 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 yeah another layer. Yeah. yeah. yeah and uh, just help draw some uh, uh, lighting on top of the body. Basically like this, and this is a is a, is a stroke. Oh, actually, we'll, 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 yeah, we can, we can do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like this, and then it's shedding. So it's oh, okay. Yeah, it, it's no, kind, cool. of, kind of yeah. very simple. It's, it's yeah. very simple stuff. Yeah. But yeah. actually, I, I think the reason for me to able to cooperate all that stuff together is because. Um, I, I I'm kind of have a some uh, illustration background, illustrator mm. background. If you if you go through my work to the bottom, and uh, there is so many illustration as there. And then when I was drawing this, this all this picture, uh, all the picture before before this one before the number two, and uh, all this picture is drawn from memory. I don't take any reference. Uh, mm. when, I was, when I was rendering the lights and the other stuff. So I'm kind of able to just, uh, and the, when I was using the photo bashing, so I can just um, make that re more realistic. Yeah. It, it, it's just because my, 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 my uh, illustrator background. So yeah, all, all, yeah. all this stuff is, is, is uh, the lighting is from my memory. So yeah, it's kind of bloody this one. And this well, you, you've got a pretty good idea of um, your anatomy and stuff like that. So you've, um, yeah, because some of your illustrations, like the one with the dragon there, that dragon, what is that? Is you know, the dragon with the woman? A lot to your right. Touching the yeah, head. Click, head. Yeah, click, click that one. Oh, is that if here? you click. Is that here? The one with the dragon. Riding a dragon that, or touching dragon, the head of touch, the dragon. Touching, touching the head of the dragon. Oh, I'm already open, open the picture at okay. my side. All right. <laughs> Just it's probably, it. Yeah, it's still, still loading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird because it's like you're explaining stuff in Photoshop and then you, now you're moving the mouse and you're like, yeah. <laughs> I can see you move the mouse. It's, yeah. I think it's about 10, must be 20 second delay. Oh, really? <laughs> Jesus, gosh, 20, gosh. 20, 30. It could be all even 30 seconds. You've, you've clicked it, right? Oh, gosh. This has got to be 30 seconds now. Gosh. 40, uh, you've clicked yeah. it. All right. Now, now it's open. <laughs> gosh. Wow. That's, that's super yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think you need to edit the uh, audio and the video again. <laughs> I, think, I think we'll just, I don't know if we can, even, I'm not sure if we can do it because everything's out of sync anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> So you've been explaining stuff in Photoshop and I've been trying to like reply to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I, I think you probably speak better English than you think as well, because I'm, I'm to probably telling you to state things and then you're like, I've already done it. So it's like, 
it's probably super confusing. All right. So with this uh -huh. image, um, that that's totally different to um, the other stuff. That's all. It's all hand painted, right? The yeah. the dragon and yeah. all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's really that's that's pretty good. That's pretty cool, man. Because you got um, really two um, two developed skills that are really well developed. Because they're, they're totally like they're kind of polar opposites, aren't they? In a, in a way, where you you're doing illustrations, and then you're doing like concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean? So like you're 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 able to do illustrations and concept yeah. art like in that yeah. way, which is how how long have you been doing illustrations for? A uh, couple of years, I think, maybe uh, uh, one or two years, I think, before I become yeah. uh, more into um, uh, hard surface stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I was working for. Um, Bethesda, it, it actually Volta and uh, my, our, our clients is uh, Bethesda and we are doing uh, uh, the Elder Scroll Legends, I think it's called, it's a card game, yeah. and, uh, doing that kind of stuff and uh, also so many other uh, card games to just doing some illustration for them and uh, I think yeah. some other, it's some called Odyssey stuff, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, kind of so you're getting it. Around six years ago. Yeah. Are you doing, so you're doing a lot of work outside of China? Mm, yeah. But it's just yeah. through internet. I will not, I, I, I haven't just moved myself to other country, just through internet. Oh, you have moved yourself to another country? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, oh, okay. uh, just leaving. So where are you, where are you living now? Uh, in Chengdu, in China. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Do you plan on making like an IP or anything like that? Uh, I think that is a pillow, a pillow too big for me. Just, you know, too I, big. I, yeah, I just make an IP and, that, and uh, draw a lot of stuff. I think that is, uh, and that usually have some story behind that. I think that is a kind of big project. And uh, yeah, but you just develop it with your, with your concepts that you do every day and just yeah, make a story around it you yeah, can totally but, uh, do that yeah but uh, if i do that i can't i can't jump in around a different style anymore so it's kind of just always doing that kind of things just um, mm. it's always always the same same uh, same road same universe you'd be so. like you'd be you'd be surprised with um if you can do some really good concept uh concept work you can you'd be surprised sometimes people actually Pay, like you can actually just put like something on Kickstarter with a bunch of images and say, we're going to develop this. Be surprised what people will jump into. And you're just like, all right. And then you make your game. But I think a lot of, I think it's one of those things where if you've got a lot of cool art, you could probably make a game out of it. It's like, it's like most ideas. If it looks cool and then you just try and make a story around it and then you make it like somewhat addictive and things like that. But it is a big job to make a game that's massive. Yeah. That's, um, yeah. Maybe. Um, do Do you have any other Photoshop uh, breakdowns? It'd be cool to see. What else you've more, got. man. It's just kind of yeah. like the same as this one. Uh, but it's always it's always interesting. It's it's like yeah, but uh, I don't really want to expose expose more. Ah, uh, it's because you got you got trade secrets. The, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just um, Maybe you I just can, show I can, some. I need to find some other one. All right. Um, just don't. You don't have to show any this like um, secret layers or whatever. But if you if you don't want to, you don't have to. Okay. Let me see. What is this? I, I'm sometimes don't even remember. You know, just mine is just like this. Just uh, all the all the stuff is a number. All the files is number. I know. I, I don't even know mm. what is inside. So. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Let me see. What is that? What is it? What is this one? Yeah, okay. Have you ever tried uh, using any like uh, ZBrush or 3D software? Uh, I'm planning to do that, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm I'm just I don't know how to cooperate that with my photo bashing stuff. So mm. I haven't really used a lot of that kind of things yet. But uh, I mean, yeah. we'll just uh, use some of the 3D software in the future. I think I think ZBrush maybe is a kind of helpful too for me to the big ship I, yeah so i can i can i can uh, render that uh uh sculpting and then just do some uh, uh photo bashing on top of that yeah but, uh, but uh, sometimes maybe the problem is if i if i 
output that uh, modeling and then photo batching on top of that. Sometimes the photo will cover the modeling. So uh, it's kind of just, I need to do that, I need to do that twice. Just I need to, mm. I need to, I need to uh, modify all the, uh, to, the photos to fit with the, the, the original modeling. So it's a bit of just uh, doing that twice. So. Yeah, just uh, I will separate different gears into different layers, and uh, it just help you, myself to modify the different parts. Yeah. Do you have any particular like photo sourcing, like images and stuff that you use? Like, are you able to show any like photo yeah, sourcing sure. images? Yeah, sure. No problem. Um, so it's interesting to see. Um, yeah. What type just, of images uh, people yeah, use? Yeah, just I, I have a, uh, I have um. Because I'm always using that uh, that folder, so let me see. Where I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm just I'm just uh, planning on the delay was about forty seconds. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> even if I've said it, Gosh, <laughs> this is this is just the folder that uh, I'm usually right, using. Now I, yeah. Now yeah. I see it. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the folder yet? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, okay. And uh, actually, this is the this is the, some of the stuff I downloaded from the internet, and I can learn from other artists. I mm. download so many uh, stuff from the internet, and so I can just uh, curiously uh, see what other artists are doing. And the mm. and the, the lower part is just some uh, different uh, stuff from the internet. An antenna is out of here, and the artillery system, and uh, sometimes have a. Uh, sometimes we will we'll name the folder with the name as that uh, stuff, like this one is, yeah. is the is the name of that uh, vehicle. So I can if I if I find this uh, some uh, some particular picture in this folder is useful, but. Uh, uh, I prefer another another perspective, uh, so I can mm. search the uh, search that name on the internet again, so I can find out, find more. Sometimes I just I just forgot um, the name of that object. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. But sometimes doing this is got this stuff more complicated, and sometimes it's a bit of hard to find what I want. So maybe I need to arrange that again. <laughs> Do you, do you ever have any like issue using certain images? Do you have to find um, particular images that you can do that, that um, kind of really work for your needs, or like do you just use any image that will, and you can kind of like put it in put it into your concept? Uh, you mean I can't work with? Yeah, like some images just won't won't, won't work for you. Is do you have a particular um, um, image like styling guide to, where you kind of like have an understanding that maybe all these images are in kind of similar uh, styles, or you do just mix it all up? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I think yeah, and um, I think it really depends on the on the on the on the, on my sketch. I think when I was doing that sketch, the most of the stuff is already done. Mm. And then, actually, I think I think um, so. I, I, actually, I'm planning to do some uh, other personal stuff in the future that uh, maybe is more similar with uh, Hello or just have some armor and uh, and uh, to design the armor. I, and I think, mm. um, but uh, but uh, for actually, I, I have used a lot. I have used for the work of nowadays. I have used a lot of this. Just. Boston Dynamic, their their robot, and uh, I would name this as Boston Dynamic. But the, some of the other robots are comes from other company, but uh, it's kind of yeah. cool. And um, it, it, I just I just I just make note that it's not on the screen yet. Now it is. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but I just but have that, to because other people will be watching it, and you're like you're toss, you're talking about Boston Dynamic. So I'm just trying to get people to catch up. So yeah. now, now, yeah, now we see it. Uh, okay, yeah, you see sure. it on the screen now. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. so, so um, um, I've, 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 well, there was a 
there was one with a, a black doll. I'd never seen that one before. Oh, this it's one? It's currently on the, currently uh, on the screen. Portland, Portland man, Portland man, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is that? That's, that's so weird. Yeah. I just found this, uh, Google, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's got all these weird. Uh, weird I, 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 don't, and... I don't really know what is that yeah. for too, but, uh, it looks kind of, looks pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. I think, yeah, what I'm, uh, wanted to say is, uh, if I'm use this stuff to do the photo batching for hello, it, it, mm. it, that, it doesn't work. It's just kind of like a waste of time because um, all the stuff in Hello, maybe this leg part will be useful. Mm. That kind mm. of helped me to uh, do the texture uh, yeah. of the work, but uh, that will not help me to do, but this upper part is actually, when they were finished, um, finished the, this robot, they will put some cover mm. on, on, top mm. of the, on top of this. So all yeah. the, all the, this exposed the part of the wires and the stuff is, is actually the interior of the robot. Yeah. So if yeah. I'm, if I'm going to use this stuff to do the work for Hello, that kind of this really doesn't blend into that world. Because yeah. They, they didn't use it kind of thing. So it's really depend on the, uh, when I was drawing the sketch uh, is, is, the, is the essential part of the design. Mm. And the photo batching is just helped me to render the render. Yeah. It, it helped me the, with the, with lighting, with the texture. So, so if, if ask, you ask me, is there any kind of picture I don't use? I think it's really depend on the, uh, what design I'm doing. So, yeah. so yeah, I will, I will choose, um, the photos that, are really fit into my design to do the work mm. yeah actually is that kind of thing is just help me with the detail and the texture i think texture is kind of very important when you're doing the design is is uh, especially yeah. w w do the photo bashing with that because if you want to draw that with the hand it's kind of impossible so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this it's okay i guess it's to do i mean you'll be photo set sampling textures you might as well everyone else does it i mean they do it for everything they've been doing it since the, you know almost day one with games and things like that so it's um yeah it's silly not to do it yeah but yeah and no, i you do a really good job at it I'm, um thanks yeah it's um really well done i can't imagine what you'd do if you had um say if you did an illustration have you did have you done any kind of illustration um sci-fi stuff where it's, it's super refined like um, uh, no, like, you mean just they will give me some design and I'm going to illustrate that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, you, I haven't ever done that. Yeah. yeah that'd yeah. be interesting to see from you because you, you, yeah. you've got a really good, um, illustration, uh, hand. So oh. it would be interesting to see that combination of the two. Yeah. But I haven't ever, I haven't ever received a job that is, uh, to just, uh, illustrate some, uh, already existed design. Just, I've never done that for science fiction, and uh, but I have a yeah. done that for for fantasy stuff. Just uh, sometimes I need to design that by myself. But uh, when I was working uh, for the uh, the Elder Scrolls, so when I was doing that, almost all the designs already are there. Sometimes I need yeah. to I need to do, 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 do some uh, refinement of the design, but uh, it's kind of update on the yeah. design that already exists. Yeah. No, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I have never. So, so what? Yeah. So what? What else did you have you worked on uh, recently? Oh, recently. Re re yeah. Recently, um, recent couple of months is for a Korean company, and they were doing mm. some uh, something classified. <laughs> so. Oh, okay, that's alright. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, but uh, it's kind of pretty interesting. I know the the founder, the, fu the founder of that uh, company is uh, is also a concept artist actually, and uh, oh, that's cool. yeah, he's kind of. I'm not sure about, uh, uh, but just that guy is kind of, kind of celebrity at the uh, Asian, but uh, right. around Asian, it, yeah. But I'm not sure he's. Uh, I, I'm not sure everybody know him or not at a uh, Western mm. country, and uh, he have a designer game called Blade Soul. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you, guys, you you guys have uh, heard about that or not? 
but Blade Soul. Uh, yeah, Blade Soul. It, it's kind of just um, an old game from. Uh, uh, no, 15, I haven't heard of. 15. I haven't heard of Blade Blade Soul before. Yeah, kind of old game, but uh, that is pretty oh, okay. popular. Popular at uh, yeah. uh, in China and the uh, Korean. All right. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. It's so you are you getting a lot of um, kind of local local work or? Yeah, yeah. Also local yeah. work. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's like ten cent and the nineties, something like that. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's it's that um, it's kind of that thing where because there's a big there's a big local Chinese. Is there a massive local Chinese market for? Yeah. Games, I guess it's it's totally different because I mean, you know, um, there'll be games that um, I haven't heard of, but they're probably massive over there in China, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, just uh, like Tencent. And uh, previously, actually, I don't do a lot for local companies. Mm. I, I would do some illustrations for them, but design is not a lot. But uh, I think I've, it's, it's since a few years ago, because before, before previously, it's like they were more interested in uh, some um, uh, traditional, traditional Chinese culture um, games, and uh, yeah, it, it's more about martial art stuff, or some, okay. uh, yeah, or, or some uh, that is called xianxia, I think, and uh, this a, a bunch of people, a bunch of people, they practice uh, in a certain way, and then they become god. Okay, yeah, god, you, like yeah. superstar. <laughs> Not superstar. That's just just, just they have God. some superpower and the. Oh, uh, uh, you mean fictionally, like? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I mean, okay, I mean, yeah. the, I mean the story of, uh, uh, about a game and. Uh, yeah. And uh, and uh, I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't I don't really draw a lot of Chinese tradition costume. Mm. Uh, so I, I previously just don't have a lot um, uh, local. Uh, co- client but uh i think it's before yeah. it's since a few years ago that so many uh local company are also doing the uh, science fiction stuff so uh um, yeah so yeah doing more, more work for them yeah. yeah yeah so like how i'm a little bit off topic but how is it over there at the moment with everything going on is it um because i guess you've been on lockdown right at the moment uh you mean you mean the you mean the the, the coronavirus yeah 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 I, th- I think i think everything is getting better um previously uh, maybe at, the, at a few months ago is is kind of terrible and uh just everybody is scared and uh mm. have to be locked down at our home it's not really locked down just they don't suggest you to go to outside and everybody is scared yeah. and then they will they, they, everybody is scared and because at that period of time everybody doesn't really know the effect of that of that disease so uh, yeah just that make, make, make that uh, make everybody even more scared more terrified about that uh mm. that, that, that virus Is, so, well we we hear like in the western world we hear a lot of things like people get welded into their house and things like that welded the units welded? Yeah, <laughs> i don't know i mean like we, we see it like i saw it on like twitter where um in uh-huh. china somewhere and they're like welding everyone uh-huh. in you, mean, you, mean, you, welding, you, mean, you mean with iron? Um, with where? Welding. Like welding the door shut so they couldn't yeah. get out. No. Like, I, I haven't, what, what is I haven't this seen stuff? that. Like, I haven't seen that actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, well, but uh, I, I, I have seen some, uh, some old women, they really don't want to be locked down and uh, they use some uh, mm. knife, to, knife to fight with the police. And, uh, Oh right, yeah, yeah geez. Kind of, that kind of yeah, thing. and and they just uh, go crazy. The women is yelling, "Oh, I don't want to be locked down," and yeah. uh, I, I don't want to wear a mask and stuff like that. It's just uh, well, it could it could be one of those things where like um, because I think the Western world is like mm-hmm. and China are like against each other almost in weird ways, aren't they? Uh, Do you feel that? <laughs> it's very it's political, man. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so I think the the stuff that we get here. Uh, it could be bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, could be, it's true. And then, like, and then what, what, what we get is kind of bullshit yeah. about the Western world. Like, yeah. so we're, we're both being, <laughs> like, you, I mentioned something to you, you know, like, what the fuck, right? And then, and it's like, yeah, I'm uh, like, you know, like, but yes, for me, it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, bilingual, 
So I'm kind of watching the news from the both sides. So I'm just no, uh, that is just uh, uh, the things of a small group of people. So mm. it's not the, 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 the the, the normal people don't give a fuck about that, but uh, the small yeah. group of people on top, they are really just, uh, yeah, is it, there yeah. actually, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and and, so and I think, yeah, just um, in China, just uh, uh, I think before the trade war between uh, US and China, that uh, most of the people are more friendly towards uh, foreigners, and uh, yeah, and and uh, you know, it's it's almost like almost like a xenophobia. Xenophobia. Xenophobia is another word. Is that yeah. they love they love foreigners too much, and, uh, oh, and uh, okay, yeah, they, they love foreigners more than what they are, and uh, and, yeah. and uh, yeah, but uh, after the tweet word, it's kind of like the things kind of changed a little bit, or just. Mm. Uh, or just is not maybe is not really the people's mindset have been changed, but uh, another group of people starting to make sound. Previously, yeah. it's more yeah. like uh, it's, it's more uh, foreign country friendly, but uh, afterwards, mm. it's uh, another group of people starting to make their sound. So yeah, just uh, just uh, yeah, just uh, you know, I have, I have some f foreigner friend out here, and uh, yeah, just uh, so many <laughs> so many bullshit things. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah just uh, yeah. I, I've it's, it's, I've like experienced some uh, pretty violent things uh, that are related with foreigners that here, but uh, most of the time, ninety ninety percent of the time is uh, still kind of kind of friendly, and uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, too, yeah, but, uh, but uh, yeah, but uh, most of that is is uh, is still okay. Yeah, do you, is the pay good for um like artwork and things like that the industry the game industry for you over there or do the american jobs pay a lot better uh kind of similar i think oh really they pay similar yeah kind of similar okay that's, that's yeah and, uh, yeah yeah and um yeah it's like previously i'm working for bungie and uh call of duty it, mm. it's kind of similar it's kind of similar. yeah it's, yeah Depends. Oh, right. it, it depends. If it's a if a, if it's a small company and they really really want you to do some work, they will. And you don't consider that is a that is a good part of a, of your career. Maybe mm. even they will pay you more. And if you wanted to do some uh, big project and uh, uh, because of the name of that project is famous, so uh, maybe sometimes they they don't really pay a lot. Yeah, they think Sometimes you can probably like the, use it. Yeah, it's a, use a, 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 an important part of your career. So it's kind of, yeah. kind of the same thing. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, have you, um, there's, there's a movie called um, Warriors of the Future. I'm not sure if you heard about it. If it was, it was a big movie over in China. It was like a, um, I think there's a, like a lead actor in, he's, he's in all these movies in China. I'm not sure if you know. If I could find the name, let me see if I can find the name. Um, you, mean, you mean a movie you have working on? I worked on it ages ago. I'm just wondering if you've. Yeah, I know. I know that business. movie. I know that movie. Yeah. And you have a did a suit for that uh, project, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. They that. have um. What Louis Ku? Have you heard of him before? Lu I, Louis Ku. I know the Chinese name only. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, they um. I think they had a really big, uh, massive production over in China. Because I know the film industry is pretty big there, isn't it? Yeah, especially in the recent years. Um, previously, yeah. previously in Chinese market, they don't do any science fiction movies. And uh, but uh, I think in the recent years, since uh, since a project called Wandering Earth come out, and uh, that uh, that a uh, movie got a box office. Got the the, the the second biggest big office in Chinese history. So oh, wow. so yeah so I think is is since that movie come out and uh, more people are interested at uh, doing science fiction stuff. Mm. Yeah, but previously it's just uh, some uh, 
and more like um, comedy and um, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's yeah. stuff that I've I've never I don't think I've ever watched any Chinese comedy except maybe what Kung Fu Hustle. I'm not sure if you yeah have you heard of Kung Fu Hustle? Is that not what maybe Kung Fu Hustle? It's all going to be different if I mention it because I'm mentioning I'm mentioning the um the English the English, English names. Yeah, so and, uh, and I'm always watch yeah. uh, the, the the Mandarin Mandarin name. Yeah. yeah. What would you, I guess if even if I ask you for a movie, what would you suggest? If there's, because I know um, but you can only mention the the Chinese name, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could probably find you, it anyway. Ask still, a movie about comedy. I, I don't. No, I don't, no, like any want... any um sci-fi movies or anything like that. Sci-fi um, movie, just wondering Earth. Yeah. I think is probably worth to watch. Anything, anything before that, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say. They're that, pretty bad. It, yeah, this looks like, gosh, yeah, not not that good. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah. I I I guess it's like the thing is like um they've taken a while to catch up with that market and all that thing. They've taken a, a while with all that, so yeah, that's it's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah and, uh, uh, oh. and uh, actually, animation are also can become very popular. And uh, mm. actually, the budget for the animation is uh, much smaller than science fiction stuff. And uh, I think it's, it's because the Chinese young generation, uh, I think it's because the, anim the, the story of the animation really uh, fit into um, the mindset of young generation. So mm. it, it's kind of like this, uh, they really love it. And uh, the, the, the people who is working at the movie industry is, is much older. Yeah. Yeah, and the mindset between the old generation and the young generation in China is pretty drastic. Just okay. the yeah. Is, is, so they sometimes don't understand each other. Yeah, it's a big, big sounds like a big age gap there between yeah. the two. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to show us? Um, I'm not sure how long we've been going for. I think because um, I accidentally messed up the screen recording, but I'm still <laughs> recording. I, I there's a hotkey linked to OBS, and I accidentally pressed it, and it paused it. But I've <laughs> the thing is I've recorded the start of the um, the start of this conversation on OBS, and then I've got the rest of it recording. So I have to like chop it together now. Oh, but it's all gotcha. right. <laughs> It, it should i'm pretty sure it's recording it doesn't tell me how long it's going um do you want to show us um you know the hallway scene that one i was talking about before um a breakdown of uh that one uh you mean the uh psd oh, hallway, if you, if you can find the hallway one. the hallway the one with the door oh uh, yeah know? yeah yeah i think yeah. um but that is a very old work let me see that's if you can um find it or not yeah if you got any client work, you can um, that's been released. That's if you can show, it would be interesting. Any any work that you haven't uh, I'm not got sure. Uh, yeah, just uh, you know, even even the very very old work that I, I did for Beta Star is I'm still not still not sure that is uh, okay to yeah. publish that or not because I haven't yeah. I haven't asked my clients. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, because the work becomes old. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not really worth to focus that anymore. Oh, let me see. Where is it? Even if you've um, got anything else that you haven't um, put on uh, art station, it'd be cool, cool to see it. Mm. Okay. Just uh, it's out of here. It's, let me see. This this screen lag is crazy. Yeah. I think you now you're just starting to to do a thing. <laughs> there we go. It seems like would we'll, these uh, two characters will make a pretty cool story. You mean there's two character? Yeah, there's, you there's just, actually another one. Yeah, you could just like that's how that's how things get made. Like you just pick two two looking cool characters and build a story around it and just I don't know, it's when you overthink a 
NIP, it's when you exactly do that, that you overthink it. It's like some of the best, best things are just made up and then stories evolve around. It's kind of like Rick and Morty. If you think about mm -hmm. it, right. Um, mm -hmm. how Rick and Morty was made. It just, it's, it's all about just writing, um, the, the story hierarchy and things like that to, to develop a story. You know, you can almost make anything uh, good as long as you've got a good story behind it. And it's just like, you got, if you've got a cool design, you can probably make a cool story behind it. You just got to mm -hmm. know how to write a story. There's yeah. a certain architecture type or to do it, but yeah. All right. Show us the, show us the layers for this. So it's, uh, okay. Sure. Actually, I don't even remember what is the layer already yeah so i think the layer is probably different than what i'm uh, using at nowadays yeah yeah and i think at this period of time i'm, uh, I'm still drawing in that photo mm. batching layer and uh let me see i need to check this myself this uh i don't even remember anymore that's all right what are you saying as soon as you you know you look up um old files like they come back to you like it's it's stored in your memory somewhere Deep down. I actually I used a lot. I don't even understand that anymore. Just I think th this one is uh, the the. Right. Uh, I'm just it's. The I'm seeing you do stuff, but it's probably yeah, yeah. lagging. So yeah, okay. I'm just getting ready. Yeah, you probably have to like stop for maybe ten seconds for it to catch up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm seeing what you're doing. Um, mm -hmm. You're going down on the list now. <laughs> still, still doing nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now we're seeing something. All right. So you took like a, a certain layer pass Special off. effect. Yeah. Yeah. It it's came a folder called special effect. And in that, okay. in that folder is basically a filter. Did is it like a filter like um in one like a plugin or? Just uh, uh, when you are just uh, are posting a picture on the internet, usually some sometimes some software have a filter. Just some thing yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a pretty good um, application called uh, Magic Bullet. You might find it useful to add certain um, filters in Photoshop. It's really handy, actually. Mm, you might really? uh, like it. Yeah, called Magic Bullet. So mm, sure, I will try to see what is that. And uh, there is uh, just a, a folder and uh, have uh, so many different layers in it. Mm. And uh, I don't even remember what, the, what is the point of that anymore. But uh, yeah. I, will, I, will, I, will, I will just uh, finish, when I was finished uh, uh, photo batching f f f stuff, I will usually create some layers on top of that. and. Uh, uh, to just um, try to find what I want and uh, just uh, keep trying with that. And uh, if mm. if I need some uh, another layer, I will just create another one. And I think yeah. that nowadays that, uh, that the previous uh, PSD file is more clean is because I have uh, used that uh, a lot of times. So it becomes mm. more uh, just I know how to do this uh, with one with one layer. So it's not like at this time, I'm still need to use a lot of stuff to make it the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So for this one, it's a uh, it's some uh, color. This one is a uh, is just a color, and then this one is a uh, uh, what is that? Light and the value, I think. Mm -hmm. What is the English name? Let me see. Um, a brightness and the contrast. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this one is a brand is contrast, and the, this one is also a color. And here, and this is uh, the uh, the curves. Yeah, at this period of time, I'm I'm still using Chinese version of Photoshop, so all mm. the layer is is Chinese name. Okay, yeah, 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 and a few lighting, <laughs> same as the previous picture. I'm trying to match up what you're doing. It's almost impossible. Okay. <laughs> Because it's like lagging so bad. Okay, sure. And also a dust layer and a few different light layers. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, the, the, what is the name of this? Just uh, how, how that layer is mixed with the lower layer is always changed. It's, uh, mm. It really depends on the situation. Mm. Yeah. Can I ask how you, um, 
you know, the shield on the gun, like it's like a purple effect. If you zoom in on that, how do you, oh, okay. how do you uh, do that? The shield effect. Yeah, <laughs> this is, this is, uh, this, that is a very interesting question. Yeah, okay. because, because I haven't drawn this by hand and this stuff looks very uh, realistic, right? And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me show you what is that. It is, uh, I guess, very, is that kind of like um, your illustration kind of skill coming into? Practice? No, 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 it's not. This, okay. It's this one right here, right? And the, actually, it's yeah. this. Let's, you need to wait the see what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait for the lagging. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know when I see it. But um, yeah, I thought that it, it looks it looks really cool. I'm just um, it's it's I I guess it, it I'm guessing before I see it, it's like the the honeycomb effect yeah. inverted. Is it? Am I right? Or and then yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. colored and then some uh, different strokes just to change to kind of give it a holographic effect. Or it's, it's actually from a picture, right? Yeah. Oh, is what? It's, so it's, um, oh yeah, uh, it's kind of like a uh, photo sourced from a car. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. No, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what is the name of that? Just uh, the home Honeycomb. Home. Yeah, Honeycomb. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you, yeah, oh, okay, actually, that's cool. Actually turned that uh, picture as here. All right. That's yeah. it. It's really cool. And it's just yeah. like with a, a soft light, a color, do color dodge on it. Yeah, yeah. No, it works really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, I like that effect. Yeah. I did, did a good job. Change, change, the, change the value a little bit. And during the point, mm, uh, yeah. 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 That's cool. That little, um, that drone, uh, you know, the little kind of weld effect. How'd you do that one there? Huh. In the weld, the welding uh, for the drone. Well, yeah, yeah, um, the cutting effect. Yeah, this, this is through the door. kind of, yeah, I think it's just screen and um, and a lower layer is normal. Yeah, I think I think it's not because I'm able to able to do this. It's not because um, because that the, the, the layers is because the yeah. it's because the the understanding about light and uh, uh, how many just uh, uh, the the color sketches I've practiced and so I can. Mm. Just um, have an understanding about the, about the lighting, so I'm able to do this with uh, a few layers. It, it's really not yeah. it's not the 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 layer and the effect and uh, that I'm using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how how did you do the um the effect for the drone cutting the door? What was that? I'm not sure if you've shown it just then, but um, yeah, I'm showing that about it just lagging. Uh, yeah, it was just. Yeah, I really think your English is a lot better than uh, what's being portrayed today because it's lagging so much. So, <laughs> so I'm just waiting for it to uh, do something on the screen here. It's going to do it. I don't I know. What. <laughs> All right. You did click on uh, the drone. Well, you zoomed in on the drone, I assume. I have a click on the. I have a uh, disappeared the the, the 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 light of that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Light. Now we see it. Yeah. 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 So what what was that effect? Um, like how did you paint? You painted that in with the brush stroke, and then yeah, just brush stroke. Did, and then just did you done. do like a glow filter on on after that, or uh, to do the glowing emitting the fire effect? What was um that? Yeah, I will. I will, I will just uh, draw the uh, at, at this layer. I will. Let me see. Uh, I, will, I will. I will. draw the 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 um, orange color first, and then draw the yellow. Yeah, that, that is purely drawn by hand. It, it's, ah, okay. Yeah, it works it, really good. Not, yeah, yeah. you not use the the brush effect. Mm. Just drawn yeah. by hand because I have a yeah. I have a learn some of this stuff from reference. Mm. And then and then draw this uh, this sparkle. And, yeah, the uh, little um... yeah, little sparkles, and and then just uh, give it uh, another uh, lighting layer on top of that. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Yeah, it's kind of very simple process to do this. Yeah, and, and then you know you know 
you know, some of my illustration stuff, the, the stuff like this is just uh, almost, you know, two layers to finish that. I, I'm, I'm just draw all of that at, at one layer and then just uh, yeah. to, yeah, just, just draw them by hand. It's actually not a lot. No, it's, yeah. The, the way, because the way you're working is um, you just kind of like keep adding layers until one spot is kind of like finished, right? Or do you, do you kind of like attack the whole, are you constantly attacking the whole image and um, reiterating on that? Um. So are you um, essentially, are you working on, are you, are you building up the whole image in, as, as, as one pass or are you kind of like, oh, do you I see, I see. get I stuck you. in details? Um, I think, I think I'm usually starting from the background. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the background kind of helped me to uh, nail down the entire lighting of that scene. So mm. after that, I will through the character into that uh, environment. Yeah. And, and, and the, 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 the background is uh, because my stuff is focusing on that uh, character. So the background is kind of simple. Most of the time it's pretty mm. simple. So I'm yeah. just, uh, yeah, just a few stuff uh, combined together. And then mm. for this this one, let's check the background is uh, here. And um, I kind of forgot this is comes from all comes from one single picture or not. But uh, uh, yeah, this, this, the original is just like this. And I will just uh, modify some of that and uh, put the, some uh, garbage pan and a window out there. Uh, you just have one. to wait for it to catch up. <laughs> it's yeah, just sure. doing. Sure. All right. There we go. Yep. Now we see it. Okay. Yeah. You just try and um, match the composition of what you want um, as, as much as possible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just constantly tweaking it and. Just saying what you're doing now. I remember this window is from is from another picture. Okay. But uh, I, I yeah, just uh, I I I made a mistake. Or just my computer my computer is not working properly as is when I was doing this work, and so all the mm. layers have a merged together when I was doing this. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, all the background is is merged. So okay, um, yeah. Yeah, I need I need to I need to just uh, yeah, working on a PI, uh, on a GPS fail. So mm. oh, right. yeah, yes, because it's all merged. Yeah. What would you what, what would you recommend for um things like new artists to uh, start doing uh, work like yours? What would you recommend them to uh, kind of do? Um, I think the most important thing is fundamental stuff. Mm. And uh, I think my background is uh, just because my background is all your painting. So, um, uh, and I'm even, even believe all the design is comes from uh, just uh, fine art actually. And, mm. uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, the people who inspire me the most is some uh, modern uh, sculptors yeah like um uh, i'm uh, always using him as an example but i'm uh, you i'm watch a lot of other artists and uh, his name is uh Henry moore and uh yeah he, he's doing uh that um semi abstract stuff and that is uh, mm. uh some very very abstract uh sculpting and i think that is the, the stuff which inspired me the most and um, yeah. yeah, and in terms of design, I think that uh, have really inspired me a lot. And uh, when I was doing, um, and, and for, 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 for a young artist, I think um, for me, I'm just like to do some very fundamental stuff and uh, uh, to draw anatomy and uh, learn the uh, lighting, to draw some color mm. sketch, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and the, uh, in terms of design, it's just uh, uh, learn some uh, machine, how they work, how, how it's worked. And uh, um, yeah, basically like that. Yeah. Practice a lot of, um, do you practice, practice a lot of uh, yeah. shading? Shading and lighting and things like that? 
yeah 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 and um yeah yeah i think i think i think some artists that they become able to do some very beautiful work is not because they have a some a special way to practice is because they have done that a lot mm. and, um yeah yeah just yeah usually just have some some yeah basically you just need to practice a lot i think is the most important yeah yeah well you you find things out by just practicing and um like you get those little happy mistakes with work and those kind of realizations of um i can work like this and it's kind of like that thing if you don't do it you don't you don't get to you know you don't get that exposure of figuring figuring things out for yourself like you've figured out yeah. a, a yeah. way to do your art and it's um it's always, it's like, it's not always replicable. You can't just like teach someone else exactly how you work because you, you, you're you and like your work's always going to be you kind of thing. And that's what yeah, every artist I think, has. Yeah. I think, I know, I think, yeah, this, the, the, the random stuff, I think, um, if you, if you have, you, if you wanted to have the capability to use the, uh, random happiness, you need to figure out how to design things by yourself first. And, yeah. uh, if you don't have that capability, even you made some random happiness thing out there, you will turn that mm. stuff to becomes a bullshit actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you need to, you need to have that capability to do the stuff by yourself. And uh, mm -hmm. even with photo bashing, if you, if you're not able to just draw some uh, stuff by yourself, even just photo, bash, photo bashing will not s save your life. And, and the so yeah, 3D yeah. software will now save your life because we mm. essentially just uh, just uh, output some um, shapes with, mm. with with the different tools. So essentially, is the, that shaping your in your brain, in your heart, that is the really essential things of the, doing the design. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and also yeah. even the illustration is is the most important thing is the, that that uh, shape and the lighting that all in your heart. But maybe maybe mm. maybe the 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 the, the studio software will help a lot with with rendering. But uh, in terms mm. of design, I think is still uh, imagined by human brain. Is is not so yeah, yeah. able to automatically generate that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. All the tools help, but they're not going to save you at the end of the day. You, you're yeah. Gonna, yeah. you you thinking and applying yourself will. Yeah, but um, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you. Just we'll show one more image. I know it's really hard to show before um, we'll go. But um, do you want to show one of your illustrations just to see how you kind of do things differently with that? Ah, uh, you maybe mean, that um, old old illustration. Yeah, like maybe the dragon uh, one. Let me try. Uh, that would be cool to see. Yeah, let me try. If I can find, if I can find. An illustration, but uh, all of that stuff is from uh, around six years ago. Yeah, um, I don't even I don't even hey, look, remember. I don't even remember. It's not, it doesn't mean because it's old, it's bad. That's, yeah, um, you mean, I mean, yeah. all the stuff is like this. You, 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 can you see my Can you see my another screen? Um, um, I can't see the other screen. You probably have to drag it across. Oh, sure. Just because uh, it only captures one screen. Yeah, sure. Let me drag that into my other screen, and uh, all the stuff, all the all the all the files is just like this. I'm just named all the files with numbers. Okay. So, <laughs> so just, is that how you use? Is that how you used to work, or you still work? Yeah. How do you know? Yeah. Just, just do you just work numbers. like that now? No. I just, nowadays, I, I I have a folder. I know that folder will have okay. a name on it, but uh, the, the file would, itself would you... just just numbers. You you're like me. You're a little bit unorganized, but organized. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, for the for the for the commercial work, I'm always have um, yeah, kind of clean clean folders yeah. out there. But uh, for my personal work, previously I'm just name it as numbers and just uh, okay, yeah, from, right. from from one to uh three hundred three hundred thirty five. So <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, with 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 work, you always got to make sure you you put things in the right folder because there's so yeah, many times yeah, you yeah. probably delete things or lose things. Yeah, so, and yeah. The, and the, I'm always put the invoice out of the same folder. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh I can find hey. it in this way. 
I can find it. It's, uh, this is very, very, very extremely is it possible old. To, is it possible to scroll through all those um, folders that you have, all the PSDs? You can open them up in... Um, yeah, I have, I have another, I have another uh, software that I can browse through the... Yeah, do you want to do, do that first? And then um, we can browse the PSD for... Um, no, I, I, I'm doing that, but I'm just lagging. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right. So you did a lot of practice with um, illustrations, I assume. Yeah, yeah, through. yeah. Yeah. At the beginning, I think um, I'm almost wanted to become an illustrator. Uh, that's it's why why uh, they're so well finished and um, yeah because it's not it's not like it's kind of it's not like you just um, dabbled in it you did a lot of it so yeah a lot a lot yeah you've done a lot of it so they're really cool I'm surprised oh, you don't yeah. post these you should actually go through them and post them on uh, Art Station some of them you could probably post and yeah but some uh, all, all this stuff is, is extremely old. Yeah, I, there's I, some I, that are I, really I, cool. You should really post some. <laughs> like I'm seeing some of them. You should really post some. Of them. It's, it's a shame. Maybe. I always think I always think it's a shame when artists don't post, you know, much of their their work. And like I used to do that, not post everything that I have. I always think it's a shame because you've got so many images that you got like 300 and something. Yeah, I found I, really I found it. the I found the dragon one. And I've oh, already this. put that into the into the Photoshop. So wind if you can wind all the way back to the very uh, first first layer, that would um, oh, be, this, be this cool picture, to see. This picture is, is, is this one is wrong. This one is just uh, already already merged. Already merged. Yeah, let me find another one. How long did it take you to do the dragon? Oh, I think maybe around three days, I think. Okay. That's pretty good. Full time, just doing it. Do you, do you actually, do you, I assumed you like, you reference a lot for that. Um, no. Like you get a picture of a dragon or no, no dragon? No, you nothing. Reference. No, no reference wow. at all. Jesus, you're a machine. That's pretty good. You didn't, <laughs> yeah. you didn't reference at all for that one. <laughs> I don't reference that's at pretty, all. That, that's pretty good considering that's, pretty good i would say it's pretty good because like it's, it's just for me i'm just considering that as a, um part of the challenge for myself and i wanted mm. to figure out how, how, how good i can be with uh with, without any reference at all and and, uh, you, and, so, it, and it it does produce a unique effect when you don't reference things i i, I do that with my work a lot i don't actually reference anything because it make it forces you to work um a little bit different doesn't it and you, yeah. cause when you like using a reference can be good, then it, but it can be bad also. Cause you, cause we're so like easily manipulated. So when we see things, we just copy it. And I think it's a good practice that you do. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. But what that, made you become, think of, that, that kind of becomes, becomes to my habit. And then, you mm. know, when I was, when I was doing the work for Elder Scrolls at that period of time, I'm also not using <laughs> I'm not also not using reference. So. Yeah. It's probably because that's what they like. It's fantasy, right? And you know, yeah. what better your imagination, right? Fantasy. Yeah. But, but, uh, so, yeah, yeah. That, that is uh, six years ago. I'm just watching you take the layers off now. Oh, I still have some different layers. So with the scales for the dragon, um, you just kind of really just go, in each if you zoom in on the scales do you just kind of you went in on each scale and just draw it by hand right just on the scale you know how you have the scales of the dragon uh because that would take a little bit of time like uh the the dragon's armor ah you know the the skin of the dragon oh, okay so you go in with each one and you just kind of do a pass you just slowly refine it yeah yeah Because that would have probably taken you a little bit, about a little bit, a little by little. That would have taken you the longest of the image to do, wouldn't it? The the dragon skin. Um, kind of forgot. Maybe I have a call bit and a pass of that to another one. Mm. Yeah, but this is kind of thing is is extremely old, and it's from six years ago. 
and nowadays I don't even do this anymore. Have you just kind of like fallen out of love with it or what? Have you fallen out of like interest? Like, you know, you don't have much love for it anymore. What? Your interest in doing illustrations, you don't really like doing them in so much anymore because you, you've yeah, been doing Yeah, I concepts. think, I think, uh, yeah, I think nowadays he's just more into the design. And, um, yeah. But at, at this period of time, I'm just watching some illustrator like uh, Jana Schemer and uh, just really love how they did all that stuff and uh, yeah trying to do that by myself okay what made you um come up with the idea of uh, that lady with her arms cut off that was interesting one. Uh, for this one is actually because um i i have a i have a go through some just at that period of time i have a caught some disease and uh oh, is actually did? Yeah, I did, and and that oh, is just some sure. eye disease. And uh, actually, at that period of time, I ever go to the, I go to the hospital, and the the doctor is kind of saying some very scary things to me. And they mm. said there is no way to really cure, cure that disease. Oh, and, shit. Yeah, and and uh, just my eye is really really hurt every day. Yeah, and uh, I can only draw for. Uh, 20 minutes maybe and uh yeah after that my eyes is just kind of burning and uh, yeah i can i can draw even a little bit anymore oh wow so and yeah and uh, at that period of time i just uh really in uh terrible just, mode in terrible mode yeah, so, depressed yeah, yeah. and i'm very frustrated because the 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 doctor actually said just uh i i i i, I asked him uh uh, he said uh, the way to cure this disease is don't use your eyes too much. And the, so, okay. so, I, so yeah, I asked him what I can do. So just, uh, can, I watch, can I watch a book? He said, you can't watch yeah. a book. You can't read a book because that'll use your eye too much. And I said, can I use computer? And he said, yeah. there, there's no computer. So can I, yeah. can I watch TV? He said, you can't watch TV because that will uh, hurt your eyes. And uh, yeah, I, I tell him I'm an, I'm an artist. I need to draw, and I need yeah. I, I need yeah. to draw. I need to draw with computer. Yeah, and the, and that director uh, and, and that doctor said, uh, "You fucking, you fucking choose a terrible career." Basically, <laughs> like that. It's just, just that, that is, <laughs> you fucked yourself. <laughs> Basically, yeah. that is, yeah. that is what he said. <laughs> So, all just, right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Reassuring. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Maybe just uh, I, I, I'm uh, exaggerated a little bit, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure it felt like that when he told you. <laughs> it's like yeah. It's, yeah. It, yeah it's, <laughs> that is what I feel. And it just, yeah. What he said just, just there is no way to really cure that disease. That that, that disease yeah. is, called, is called dry eye. Just just okay. uh, yeah. Is is the is your, your tears becomes a normal and usually mm. there's you i will have some oil in it actually it's not just water and that oil will prevent that tears from uh getting into the air too fast mm. so uh the problem is is i don't i don't i don't uh i don't, I don't generate enough oil anymore oh really yeah do, and, do you do you wear contacts or something like that or did you get eye surgery or? No, or? no, yeah, and and just, just then, yeah, yeah, and and uh, I've uh, I've uh, tried uh, so many different ways to cure that disease and uh, mm. some tradition traditional stuff to eat some uh, herbs and uh, every day stuff like that. Try, try a lot of different things, and, and, yeah, and and, and, and uh, yeah, and and but but finally, finally, how I cured that problem is just I, I paired a glasses for myself. Oh, you got glasses. <laughs> yeah, got a glass oh, really? for myself, and then and then that yeah. it just becomes cured. Oh, that's weird. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just because Dude. because that kind of disease has so many so many different reasons to cause that problem. Yeah, and the, do you the, squint a lot? Do you like strain your eyes to read things? Because it can be um, if you're squinting. I used to squint a lot 
and um because i got a one lazy eye uh-huh. and it's something i've been i've been working on it slowly getting better uh-huh. but it's because i used to i used to squint a lot and used to kind of like squint, squint one eye what you mean what is the meaning squint, of like squint? scrunch your eyes up to see things you know how you like try and look in a distance and you're kind of like scrunching uh-huh. your eyes up there's something about um when you don't use your eyes correctly uh it can actually make your eyes worse, like you're straining. Yeah, or yeah but I don't do that. Stress. I don't do that. But yeah. uh, but uh, yeah, my, my my version is actually blurry. But I don't really know that because it, it's just very slightly blurry. It's just a little, yeah, so you, and the, that will cause your, you know, there is some muscle in, in so in, in, inside of your eyes. So hmm. that that muscle will continuously adjusting that blurry. And that will cause yeah. your eye to become very, very tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and that is the reason. And at that period of time, I'm, I'm almost drawing 12 hours a day. And I'm, yeah. I'm doing that for year, so many years, maybe three years. And before that, I'm also drawing maybe around nine hours a day. And I'm doing mm. that maybe around four years. So add that together, maybe it's already seven years that overusing my eyes so yeah and and uh, i'm also having that uh, yeah. blurry in my eyes that i don't realize so that are causing yeah, yeah. there is there is such a thing you can um you can do eye exercises like you can stretch your eyes you can look left and right or you can look in 360 like if you do that now you notice um if your eyes are tight it's because you're not using them like because you, you think about it, you're on this computer screen, so you're not like going out and running about. If you're, you're, if you're in the wild, you, you would run about, use your eyes. It's like, if you don't use it, you lose it. And it's like the same thing for your eyes. And yeah, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, but for yeah. nowadays, it just, since I have uh, glasses, the, everything becomes better. And uh, yeah. just, I don't need to do anything. And then my eyes is automatically becomes better good yeah 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 the, the reason is just because i'm uh just uh just i don't really know my vision is blurry and uh, yeah and the doctor yeah. the doctor because that disease have uh, so many tens of reasons to cause that uh, to happen so the direct, yeah the doctor is kind of hard to figure out uh which which one causes your problem so mm. uh yeah is uh, i need to try a lot of different things to figure out by myself actually yeah no, it's, it's it's always painful to have yeah, a problem yeah, and you can't and, solve and, it. Yeah, and so just yeah. uh, that is the, the the reason behind this this piece of work. Yeah, and just, just uh, expressing. Yeah, just, just expressing that kind of just uh, you know I'm an artist and I don't have my eye anymore, so it's yeah. just like a, a a soldier, a warrior, and the, her mm. arm have been cut off. So yeah, yeah, just that yeah. kind of feeling is uh, yeah. It's a, real, think, it's, it's a really cool idea. Really yeah, cool I think idea. at that period of time, I'm just love to well, uh, do some uh, stuff like this. That are very just um, make people shocking. Well, they say, they say hardship produces the best work. If that if that makes sense, like when you're in, mm-hmm. when you're when you're struggling the most, you make the you make the best work. Like yeah, I've I done think, that when yeah, I've struggled the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something about hardship. Yeah, so, so, you, so what do you have a struggle with? What do I have a struggle with? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you straight up. <laughs> I struggle with uh, porn addiction. I've been getting over that. So, um, porn addiction. <laughs> yeah, porn addiction. It's crazy. Like, Great. I, like, you wouldn't, you would, it's like um, being addicted to heroin, pretty much. Uh-huh. And so for years and years, uh, like you have um, the funny thing is well, it's probably not funny. It's actually like it's way worse than you think. Like if if you think you were like if you if you had heroin, you were shooting into your arm every day. You think that's a problem, but when you're looking at porn, you don't think it's anything. But it, it stimulates the same pathways, mm-hmm. and um, I've like it's it's like ruin it ruins the neurochemical balances in your brain. So yeah. I've I've just like I've been probably um probably like 60 or 70 percent depressed my whole life and i haven't known it isn't that crazy so i've actually been under i've been way unhappy but i always thought just everything's really always a bit shit instead of thinking oh yeah everything's just everything's like up and down so the first time in my life now i'm experiencing like emotion proper emotions because 
I'm not on a high all the time, but then I'm not on a low all the time. But so I'm not, I'm, I'm experiencing like um, the highs and the lows within the, the day. And it's not like I'm, I'm really high or like I'm really low. Cause mm. if, if I'm, so when I'm not looking, uh, I haven't been looking at porn at all. Um, I've been lower than I have ever been. And I'm being getting through like a really dark phase of depression oh. in my life. It's like really bad, like really, really bad. Yeah. And I'm just coming out of it now because my brain is um, balancing out again. Mm -hmm. And so like, it, it's, you know what it's like with your eyes, you're really depressed. And so you're like, shit, this is everything shit. Mm -hmm. And coming off porn, I thought like, like, I'm slowly coming out of it. I'm like, everything's shit. And um, like, I didn't, didn't want to talk to people. Like you just start isolating yourself, you know, when you, when you are depressed and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's just, just that neurochemical un unbalanced thing and yeah. it's really hard to get through um uh, like i feel i feel really bad like now i know what um it's like to be like an alcoholic kicking alcohol or mm -hmm. like someone kicking heroin or something like that yeah. because um yeah you, your your reliance on it to actually motivate you to like get up every day like it's it's a weird thing and the funny thing it's just porn but really it isn't it's because it's like you it's kind of like you're taking a drug literal drug yeah this uh, and so chemical is is, is is imbalanced right yeah and you and you'll be surprised that um like it, op it opens up a bunch of like different things that um you know how you i'm not sure if you heard about things like semen retention and now i think like in india they you know they practice um you know semen retention where you don't um you don't uh, masturbate or anything like that you try and go for longer longer periods of time mm -hmm. and it gives you like a different view on life like in a way it gives you mm -hmm. a lot more energy and you're like you have a, a crazy amount of energy and, and, it, and it's really something that i think we we forget that um the, the amount of energy within like the sex drive that is life we kind of just waste it on nonsense and we we burn it out and so it's everything's connected everything has a, a everything has a price like everything that you put in your body like you have that little bit of caffeine like even a tiny bit of ca coffee, right? You're going to feel a bit down the next day. And it's the same thing for your, um, yeah. your, your sex drive. And the thing is, um, you just don't notice it. Like if you, if you put the challenge to yourself and you go, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to have any sex or have a wank for a month. It will kind of like make you feel different. You, you realize that how hard it is to go without it. And maybe if you've been using it as a, um, as a crutch to get through, like problems have you ever been like stressed out and you kind of like i don't know have you ever smoked before or done anything to no, really I've never stress? smoke never done I, I've, I've played them, uh, play, no <laughs> but i've played a lot of video game and uh just, yeah see think, yeah, yeah yeah just uh if you are you were just a bit of uh frustrated in your life and uh i think mm. at a period of time i really like a girl and but uh, she doesn't like me yeah uh, so at that period of time i just play more video game video games than usual yeah yeah, yeah just you just like that because even games produce that same effect and yeah, everything yeah. in life like even if you listened let's say even if you listen to too much music like that would and then you you have a come down from it because it's neurochemically stimulating and you you're producing dopamine so anything that you do it anything that you do in life, it's, it's super important. And the thoughts that you have and how you, you like, say, if you're really negative, like it can make you sick. You can become sick from being so negative inside your head. Yeah. That's why meditation is really important. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so like, perhaps, you know, when you had the problem with your eyes, mm. if you became more positive thinking, it, you could have gotten yeah. over it quicker. You know, like it's when you dwell on things, things get worse and worse and worse. And it, you know, it, they say it's all mindset, right? And it is all yeah. mindset and having a healthy mindset and meditating because, you know, you're, you're a, essentially, you're a human being and everything that it's input, like if you see like um, anything on the screen, you see anything like on the screen, even right now, the lady with no arms, it's like influencing your mood and your behavior. Like that image would have brought, it brought up those old memories, didn't it? And makes you feel a little bit like that. Yeah, And it's like, everything affects you so, so much. Like we're so 
thing is we don't realize how fragile we are until something happens. Right. So, mm -hmm. and like, we don't realize how fragile our mindset is. It's the same thing. Yeah, sometimes so, just what you were saying, we would drag you into that way. Right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, but uh, for me, I think when I was, when I was looking at this picture, I think sometimes it gives me the energy because, mm. because I would go through that struggle and uh, I have, a, I have a fucking conquer that a struggle and then yeah. the, the fucking thing cannot block yeah. me. And, and the, yeah, yeah, just, you know, when I was having the eye disease and what I'm doing is going to jogging a lot and every day to mm. practice my, to, to, to train my body and to help me to recover from that. And the, just, mm. uh, yeah, just, I, I, I need to face that problem. And the, I think for me, I have a, I think that is because that is that some uh, difficulty outside of my, outside of my i feel that is, is outside of my body or outside of my just um how do you have that just just um i need to conquer that problem mm. so yeah w w which a mindset i have developed is uh what is brief is not you, you know previously i was like i will i, I will analysis uh just uh, the things in my life and to choose the best choice to, uh, to, 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 to go for it. And uh, to, mm. uh, that is my career and uh, I need to choose to go this and uh, or that. So, but I will have an analysis about that and uh, which one is the most, uh, have the most possibility to lead to a success. Mm. But when I was having that disease, it's like, I don't have any hope. Out there and the, the, the mm. doc, what the doctor told told me is you cannot you cannot fully recover from this there's yeah, no possible it's way bullshit it's yeah, always bullshit Doctors, yeah there, yeah yeah there, they said there's, there's no possible way for you to recover from this and then we don't have a a, a a really a really good way to to work on this what you can mm. do just don't use your eye so <laughs> yeah so that is kind of just destroyed you you as a person just destroyed you mm. as a as a human being so what i have developed is what is brief is not mm. when you when you are facing an enemy and you have a 70 percent that you will win and you're going to yeah. fight with him that is not brief what is yeah. brief is you have a fucking 90 percent chance that you will fucking die yeah but you yeah. got to fucking still kill that enemy and you will survive. Yeah. That yeah. is fucking yeah. brief. So, so that is yeah. what I have developed. So what I'm going to do at that period of time is just no matter what is that, I'm going to fucking mm. win. Yeah. You know that, right? So just, yeah, that is my that, mindset. So when I was working, watching this picture, I think it is a bloody scene, but that have given mm. me so many energy to, to yeah. push me, go further to, to, uh, to, because I have, a, I have a conquered a, a, a extremely big difficulty. I, maybe that is not a difficulty. A real, actually, is not really a, a big real difficulty because I'm just got a, a, a glasses. But I have a go through so many difficulties in my mind to mm. keep me go further and to find a mm. way. So I believe in the future. Mm. I, I can't. I, I, I can't have kind of just have the just just that spiritual and the energy to facing the problems yeah yeah no, it's, it's yeah yeah that the, is the human the human body can heal from a lot i think we underestimate how powerful it is uh, I, look yeah i wouldn't be surprised that you probably don't need glasses like i i actually i actually need to supposedly wear glasses and i'm not going to wear them i'm never going to wear glasses because i know it's going to make my eyes worse and mm -hmm. like I've always used my eyes incorrectly as, as well. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy. Like, it, like my eyes are probably a little bit more than blurry in the distance. And I just don't, mm -hmm. I don't care because oh, that is I actually, know actually better, you know, because, because you mm -hmm. know, you are blurry. So mm -hmm. you don't need to try so hard to, to see that clearly, you know that, yeah. right. But I, well, I, I don't know I, that. So I'm trying so hard to, to, to see you, clearly. You can, because the thing is, when you start wearing glasses, your eyes do get worse. That's what I'm afraid of. And I don't want to be like that. I just want to oh. go, okay. Because um, they will just keep giving you worse, like more higher prescriptions. And um, I think what, what, I'd, what I'd like even put to you is that um, just try 
like when you whenever you're outside or something like that try and not wear your glasses try and, and and exercise your eyes look around don't squint and just i think do some meditation because i think what happens is that we get really stressed and we can hold it in our eyes because i know when i'm being really st stressed before my eyes have like gone blurry and mm -hmm. like that's like everything's connected you know your brain's all connected and your posture if you're um sitting down too much if you've got a really tight neck cuz you know, there's a lot of, you've got the visual cortex of where you kind of take in a signal in the back of your, um, in the back of your brain. And if you've got a, a really bad neck and a crooked neck and really tight neck, it can actually affect the signal running into your brain and yeah. you get blurry eyesight from that. Yeah. Everything's connected. That's the funny thing yeah. about it. So I, w I would, I would suggest that you try and un like try and not use them when you don't have to use them and see if you can like, cause you, cause you're still using something. Cause yeah, I always, I always I, believe in the human body. Yeah. It's because, get better. Yeah. Just, you know, my eye nowadays is just a normal. So mm. I have no problem to play video games and uh, I'm actually playing a lot and nowadays. So just nothing happens. So I think it's just, so do you, many do you wear, it's not, do you, um, it's not do you wear your glasses all the time or do you wear them just partially? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing glasses all the time. Uh, and I think mm. I think uh, yeah I have I, I have a pair, just uh, two different classes or, or three maybe, just the, the previous okay. the one the previous the one doesn't help that much because that is mm. is, is paired for you to watch for far distance. Mm. You know you know when we are wearing when we're watching something at a close distance, we, we our eye will tend to um, uh, move to together just that uh, you know um, how to describe this mo moved to focusing at a one point mm. and because that uh, that a point is is close to our eyes so our eyes need to uh, rotate uh to the center you know that yeah to be closer and that so the the, the there is a, a point in the glass and the uh the the previous one is uh is is just paired for watch the far distance and then the second one is for the close distance and then the second one is even more helpful yeah yeah, so that so I think that is is, is helped me a lot, and then this uh, yeah, I don't think that is a problem anymore. But I'm still yeah. I'm still want to have a healthy life, so I'm almost mm. go to gym almost every day. Around yeah, that's good. You around, need yeah, yeah. Around, around five or four times a week. Yeah, it's yeah that's good. Amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind yeah. Of amazing. You got, you got to keep it up. Otherwise, um, I, I haven't been going to the gym and I didn't realize how much the gym affects you. Like it affects you so much. Like it makes you feel so good and it actually stops you from being depressed. And it's weird. Like I didn't realize that until you stop going because of the, the lockdown and all that. So, yeah. But um, yeah, that's, well, I think we probably should leave the chat around here. I think it was, it's been a while. It's, um, it's been awesome chatting to you and, uh, yeah, it would uh, like I really really enjoy your work and um, mm. what you're doing. You should totally make an IP. I think you should. So mm. make something. I'll make something with you. I'm always saying that to people. Mm. <laughs> I think you, because I think we need to like as like, you got to remember like as concept artists, mm -hmm. we can make really cool shit because we can make cool ideas and build a story around it. Mm. I think we doubt we doubt our abilities to do things, but that's how everyone does things. Like so, you team up and you make something cool and. This is what I'm always like. I'm just always asking people because um, you never know how well you can click with someone else and how well you can work with other people. And it's just, you, you end up leaving it to these big companies to, um, to get work. But I think we're pretty capable of making amazing work ourselves and making new companies and things like that. It's just the, the kind of that, um, that push to do it. But uh, yeah, I think, I think, it would be awesome to see see you make an IP or something behind it. Yeah. Don't doubt yourself. Yeah, don't if don't I, if undersell I'm, yourself. Yeah, if I'm gonna do that, maybe I will draw that line, just uh, linear stuff, because it's mm. easier, it's faster. Yeah, yeah. Just line work instead. You mean? Yeah. To do it, to to do concepts and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Well, we'll leave it there. Um, sure. Anything else you want to say? It's well, it, we've uh, discussed a lot, and uh, yeah, I think it's yeah. pretty awesome to talk with you. 
Yeah, you too, man. It's been it's been great and see your uh, your breakdown of things and uh, how you kind of work. It's it's really cool and yeah, I think uh, definitely uh, keep we'll keep in touch and yeah, it's uh, you're you're a pretty pretty big inspiration to me at the moment with uh, your work and I, that's why you know I did the artist spotlight for you because um yeah I was yeah it's just like always I saw that one image with the hallway with the character in the door and I was like, who did that? And like Googled your name and things like that. So mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, man. Well, we'll uh, end it there. And um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been good. So yeah, yeah, thanks uh, for having me. All right. So good. All right. So that was Yin Chin J. And uh, if you guys uh, want more of these uh, spotlight interviews, just like, and subscribe and uh, yeah, until next time.